गेट रेडी टेन सेकेंड्स फाइव सेकेंड्स स्टार्ट मिस्टर डेप्यूटी चेयरमैन आई रीड द स्पीच ऑफ द ऑनरेबल रेलवे मिनिस्टर विथ वेरी ग्रेट इंटरेस्ट एंड आई फुल्ली associate myself with the sentiments expressed by dr kunjru that the speech makes us very happy the railways being our premier national undertaking have had to shoulder many onerous and heavy responsibilities during the last 40 years of planning and development and it must be said to the credit of the railways that they have acquitted themselves very creditably the honorable railway minister has referred to many things in his speech and the credit goes to the railway administration for such achievements i need not narrate those achievements here because they have been referred to by many honorable members of this house and they are found in the railway ministers speech also those of us here who have been lucky to visit the various installations and workshops as members of the public accounts committee or the other committees can bear witness to the great progress that is being made all round towards saving foreign exchange and making the railway ministry a model for other ministries to emulate his speech is a frank assessment of achievements and omissions and the honorable railway minister deserves to be congratulated for not having hidden the drawbacks that have come to his notice apart from the achievements there are many things which have been pointed out by some honorable members of the opposition on this side which according to them leave much to be desired and have to be coped with the honorable minister himself has stated in his speech that much leave has to be made he himself has said that the evil of ticketless travel has not shown any appreciable decline this is a very big department with its ramifications far and wide and it is beyond human control that such evils can be minimized outright but i hope that efforts will be continued to be made to keep the evil of ticketless travel under check which of course is a very difficult task similarly the administration admits that the loss of railway property is causing serious concerns with these general remarks i would now like to come to some specific points 
one of the important points which has been criticized by house in regard to the declaration of the railway minister that there will be no revision of passenger fares but two minor adjustments have been made in this bill one is that the special surcharge at present levied has been raised slightly and the other is that the minimum distance charged for coal has been altered slightly with regard to the first item very small revenue is being expected which is of the order of about rupees 50 lakhs per annum while in regard to the second item regarding coal even if figure has not been given because it is stated to be a very small item beyond this this year no change has been made in regard to freight rates as well as passenger fares there have been many comments on this point and some of my friends on this site attributed it to this being properly the budget speech in the year before the election i am sure shri jagjeevan ram will not put the interest of the party above the country and he must have had very cogent reasons for not enhancing the fares and freight rates we will be very pleased indeed to know his point of view as to what he has to say in the matter but we know very well that already taxes in the country are very heavy all round this view might be behind the mind of the honorable minister to decide that this year the fares and freight rates should not be raised but all the same we will be interested to know his point of view we do hope that his example will be followed by the honorable finance minister also when he presents his budget before long and the country will indeed be very grateful to him as the traveling public is grateful to the honorable railway minister for his budget proposals this year sir i come to the question of railway finances the railway minister himself has made such a nice case in regard to the raising of fares and freight rates therefore it is all the more surprising that on the one hand he makes a very strong case for raising the fares and the freight rates and on the other he has not taken this step at all but looked at purely from a financial angle the finances of the railways make a little unhappy revelation these points have been discussed in detail by many of the honorable members of this house and i need not 
go into them but i will refer to them only in a brief way we will shortly be entering into the third five year plan a large amount will be earmarked for the railways during the third plan